I'm going to show you some of the cool ways Concrete 5.7 deals with images and lets you do really cool responsive work uh, right out of the box. So let's just jump into the File Manager by clicking the Dashboard panel and then Files. Now these are all of the assets that you use on your public facing website. You don't use the File Manager to get at the source code behind your website. This is just images, PDFs, anything that you would link to or use on the page. And we want to add an image. I've already downloaded one to my computer. And you can just drop it anywhere on the window and it'll upload it. So there's the image that we just added. Uh, first thing I want to show you is if you come in, click it, and go to Properties, you can see a bunch of information about the image. It's title, um, you can give it a short description, you can even add more custom attributes if you want to start creating more metadata about the images. Uh, but we'll go into that later. What I want to show you here is all the thumbnails that it makes. You can see it's got 10. So Concrete 5.7 actually creates these different images for different sizes that you might need uh, depending on your theme or what you're sharing this image with. Um, so you can see it's automatically sized all these out. This was a large image, so it had no problem doing it. But I can come in here and actually override some of them. So if, for example, this thumbnail doesn't make sense for me, I can click Edit. There's a little built-in JavaScript image editor. And I can change this around a bit. You know, maybe I just want to kind of have like a zoomed up watery vibe instead of just shrinking the whole image down. And now I have a different thumbnail for that footprint. Pretty cool. I'm going to get out of the file manager and then place this on a page. All right, so if we go ahead and add a block to this page, we're going to use the image block. Now you can place images just inside of the content block, uh, but it won't do quite the same cool resizing I'm going to show you. So I'm going to drag this image over here, choose the file from the file manager. There's that thumbnail. And we've got the image right there on the side. Now if I publish these changes, and close this real quick, if I start resizing my browser window, you can see right there, it changes to use a smaller image size, even smaller. And if I get to a certain point, just close to the tablet size, it actually moved the block area down, used a larger image and it'll continue to do that. So Concrete 5.7's themes are generally responsive by default and when you use the image block in these uh, laid out areas they all collapse the way you would need to so everything just gracefully works on your website, your phone, your tablet, you name it.